Should drive a diary each time, clap, 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 clap. How are we all doing today, guys? We're proudly supported and sponsored by Promods. If you want an enhanced map mod experience on your PS2, Promods is the map mod for you. Thank you very much for supporting for this one. There we go. And uh, all of the trucks you will see in a virtual truck driver diaries is available at British Knowledge Packs for ETS2. Go to their Facebook page and just ask for one of James's trucks and they will sort you out. And uh, yeah, guys, how are we doing? Welcome back. Sorry about the fact that no episode last week, but first, let's get on to what we're doing today. So, in this section, what we're doing is scratching my hand really badly because yeah, it's just playing off on my hand again. No, I'm, I'm joking. We're, uh, where are we going? We are going to London Dairy slash Dairy, whatever you want to call it. And um, we've got young seedlings on board, three tons. Uh, uh, it's 340 kilometres away, and we are in the beautiful Dublin. So, sorry there was no virtual short travel diary last week. Last week was an extremely emotional week. I didn't know whether I was coming or going, I just didn't know what was happening last week. All I can say is that one of my legal matters has come to a, a resolution for it, an end. So that's good, I've just got one more thing to do and I should be good. Um, but obviously whilst that thing's still going, I can't talk about what this one is. They're both sort of connected. So yeah, sorry guys, can't dive out any more info, but if you do go to my stream, I think I might have talked about it by accident over there. I'm just hoping that the police don't see the stream, if so I'm going to get into trouble. Yeah, so I'm the victim in both of the things, unfortunately, but uh, you know what the systems are like these days. I haven't talked to all of you, so I the first one to start is plugging in. But yeah, so... Yeah, that's all I can say on that really. Um, so I didn't have any time to film last week because it was going to the police station and signing things and people were going to court and getting the suit out. And yeah, it was just. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, it is what it is. I had no time, and then when I did feel like I had time, I just really, really couldn't be bothered. Like, it was Thursday, I think it was, and I needed to do something that I had some control over. Because I can't explain it, like, when you're doing something you don't have control, it's like, I hate that. I hate that feeling. So, I went and did a couple of races. Well, better for it. Uh, I'm not going to lie, the frame rate drop is because um, I have three monitors. They're not in a row, they're both displaying different things. So like at the moment, I've got on the left monitor, I've got the Discord, so I keep in contact with the team, and I've got the notepad document up to tell me what to talk about, give a little point just to talk about. And obviously, the game is on the main screen, and then I've got OBS and the hedging unit data on the screen. So yeah, <laughs> um, but uh, what, what was we talking about? Oh, yeah. So this, well, tomorrow. Should it is Monday for me right now. It's like the day before my birthday, literally. It's twenty fifth. Uh, right, tomorrow is the seat, the I racing third, the third round of the I racing special events calendar, and it is the beautiful Sebring twelve hours. Um, green flag's going to drop at 1.5 like normal, um, but I'll probably be on to start coverage about, well, it won't be before half past 12, so if we say at minimum it's going to be half past 12. Um, so yeah, I will be, I'm going to attempt to stream the whole race in one go, instead of splitting it up. Um, there's a couple, probably a couple of bars in the middle where I'm not going to be around the stream just going to be on because I've been downstairs chilling with the fan. And more than likely probably watching the stream on the big telly. Downstairs on the big fancy full big telly. But yeah, so there's going to be a couple of 
plans when I'm not around, obviously, but I, sh I do plan on being around towards the end. Uh, obviously, I can't drive after 7 o'clock out of time. So I've got the restrictions for the family and things like that. So, yeah. Uh, uh, what's the next one? Yeah, so the green flag will be 145. I should start possibly double. Mommy by double is mean I'll do two stints in a row. Mommy by stint is there is a set. Well, there's a time a period. There's a time period of tanking the fuel and how long the tyres last. Um, so from the time from it being filled up in pit lane to it being empty and you're back into pit lane, it's called a stint. Double stint, so that's going to be probably about two hours, two hours ten in one car. Obviously, with it, it's done. But that's that's the plan anyway. It's um, yeah, that's the plan. Anyway. Uh, obviously, I have to say more about that when when we're there and they run in the week. Uh, what's the next point say? It says promos in Vegas. The time of the call we could be out. No, I forgot what I was about. I'll have to. Uh, do some digging on that one and I'll let you know. Uh, talk about M24, oh the never one so of course. So yeah, round four of the iRacing special events is from the beautiful Nebu Green Lodge Life. Uh, we've got on the full circuit, the full 32 km circuit. So that's including the Grand Prix track and then out onto the Lodge Life for the back round and back onto the, onto the Grand Prix track. We're using the Grand Prix pits as well. Uh, so yeah, really looking forward to that. It's one of the races that we will want to win. So we're going to try our absolute hardest to do that. I'm looking forward to it, I'm not going to lie. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, the Nibbe Green 24 hours is on the 3rd of May. Um, that's going to be a brutal race. Absolutely brutal. Uh, but don't just be prepared to look out guys but there's there's going to be a very big push and a very big media hype around that, that race for me and the team because it's uh, if you didn't know how to count racing all sports teams linked in with a uh, German team called Wickerman and um, yeah they're German obviously so we really really, really want to go for the win for them uh, I've got my finger okay, I'm not bleeding everywhere. Um, I'm gonna lick my finger but I can't spell the condition. Uh, uh, talk about phased in our ETS2 of the channel, ask for feedback from phones. Uh, okay, this is gonna be a two part thing we're gonna talk about now. Um, I have written there, and if you probably heard it, you know what I'm about to say, but it says uh, phase, Phasing ETS2 out from the channel and ask feedback um, A couple of weeks ago, you probably all seen me put the hashtag 900 and out on social media That is because I plan on going to episode 900 and calling it a day from VTDD, whether it's his daily series or his diaries series. Um, I am currently rethinking that situation in my head, but 900 could be the last time. It could be, I don't want it to be, because I've got something in the pipeworks, but it's getting to the point where I need to commit one way or another. I can't keep doing both. I need to come back to I'm going to come back to ETS2 fully, or I'm going to phase out ETS2 and only put the odd episode up. Yeah, I'm working my arse off to get there. These planners don't give us arse, do they? So even if even if I did quit ETS2 altogether, I'd st I still would put an episode up a month. It just put on that kind of rotation for my junction to quit. But it wouldn't. 
you know, I wouldn't leave it cold turkey. I'd still do a couple of episodes, but an episode of one for every two weeks or a month, whatever. So I'd still be doing VTDD, it just wouldn't be in a in its diaries form or be in its daily form. I don't know, that's sad to have got you know, I have to pick one way or another. At the moment I'm trying to do both and it's spreading my time thin because what people don't realise is that esports especially requires a lot of practice, like lots and lots and lots and lots of practice. Um, and you know, I want to be good. I want to be good for the team. You know, I want to be good for myself. So I have to practice a lot. Uh, but uh, yeah, so you know, it is one way or another. Unfortunately, it's it's painful to hear. It's painful for me to say. But unfortunately, it's, it's the way it is, guys. You know, I've been truthful and honest with you about everything that I can be. So, do not go up here. Yeah, I'm just going to cake you on the brakes. Drop back to the three times. Oh, yes, can you? Come. So, I was, I was very emotional at the time of posting 900 an hour, I'm not going to be truthful, do I wish I'd tweeted it out? No. The two of my subcontractors, I am still committed to it. It's to, you know, just flat to flat, I've just said, you know, drop. I really sh I should have thought twice about posting really for you know. Uh what's next? Uh yeah guys I've already explained it says talk about last episode not being out, I've already talked about that. Uh look. Ah yes, this Scania has an electrical issue. This one says, Scania S1 and go into mechanic shop, going back at Frankfurt or Dortmund, whichever one comes first. Uh, yeah, I've got to take the truck back home. It's got an electrical issue uh, in a dashboard. Uh, it won't tell me that the A, that the engine is heating up, or B, that I've got a full, full, a full fuel tank every time, which I haven't. I've got to the point where I run out of the way to go through my own full. Uh, so obviously with that going out, oh, uh, that going, yeah, that going out of service, out of commission, we don't call it. I have taken the chance to lease the 4x2 Scania S series in Scandinavia blue with Kelsey High Bar and uh, Vice Bar and High Bar. Uh, whilst one is this one is in the shop. Uh, needs, needs to book in anyway, needs a full service or another thing will probably uh, probably be out of it. Probably be out of action for about a month. I'm not, I'm not putting any problems with this truck because it's mature, I've got a lot of pieces. Um, and then on to the extremely big news. Well, a couple of things. And I'm going to float a lot of ideas around now. So, here we go. Actually, I'm going to have a drink. The big news is doo -doo 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 -doo. I have purchased two brand new trucks uh, they're not going to be ready whilst this one's in the shop hence why I'm leasing it and hopefully I can get the company to do a lease to buy but I have taken the opportunity to purchase a 4x2 Renault Range T Euro 6 
with the British Orange Pax Kelsa High Bar and that possibly could be from the driver again that possibly could be for another driver I've also purchased a 6x2 midlift DAF XF Euro 6 it's the 106 with the fancy grille and that also has a Kelsa high bar and a bar as a bar and that is whilst uh, no wait shit yeah, sorry I'm so swearing you cheeky as well uh, hang on Probably no, confused myself now. They're all three in a row, and I really should move them around. Yeah, brought a uh, six by two middle in half XF one hundred six euro six with cows high bar, bar as a bar, and that is also possibly for another driver. So very soon I'm going to, be going to have two spots open up, and when this Ronnie gets back from the shop, it could be true. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Also, I have been talking to a very red and white subcontractor of mine and it sparked my interest, I'm going to tell everybody straight away that I uh, have been entertaining thoughts and what I mean by entertaining is I mean I've been thinking of it of and this is where an island from now comes out but coming back to me mainly I am considering taking more of a desk Role in a BTC with limited that includes limited driving temporary. So that's that's you know that's the um, you know uh, well, I'm thinking of switching to a more desktop limited driving for a BTC. That is just a thought. You know I have been thinking of a lot of things recently. You got to really to be truthful. I have to. So yeah. Uh, what else is there? Thinking of doing my own VTC or joining back a VTC, that's just a thought though, not an idea. That is also, yeah, that's right. I'm thinking of doing my own VTC, I'm also thinking of joining a VTC. Uh, so it's just a thought and an idea at the moment. Uh, I can't say for certain what, what I am going to do and what I'm not going to do, okay? Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, I also have somewhere else. I haven't talked to the relevant party, so I'm not going to say anything regarding it because I haven't spoken to the relevant parties about this bit. So, yeah, that's that. You know, this is where I am at at the moment in my head. Um, yeah, that, this is where I'm at at the moment in my head, and I, you know, I've got a Actually, sorry, I'm going to say this for everybody. If you want me to drive for you in your VTC, drop me a message and tell me a bit about the VTC. I'm not saying, um, I need to get this out, I need to be 100% clear with this bit. I'm not saying that I will join any VTC, I just want to know what options are available, okay? Again, this is a guarantee. If you send me the message, isn't a guarantee that I'll be joining your VTC. I just want to get all and my facts straight before I make a choice. I want to have all the information, you know, I want to read about it, I want to see pictures, you know, just let me know if I'm on your radar. If, you, if I'm not on your radar, then that, that's fine, I don't understand the thank you for watching the video. Um, if I am on your radar, then drop me a message. Um, tell me a bit about the VTC and the people behind it, you know, and why you enjoy it. So, yeah, if I am on your radar, let me know. Again, this isn't a guarantee uh, I will be joining the VTC. I also have a couple of, uh, I have also got two things in the pathways. Um, so, yeah, like I said, it's not a guarantee I'm going to join. So, hopefully, that's out there, okay? And we are here in the beautiful London Derry slash Derry. If you want to call it, I'm going to call it Derry, okay? If there are any Irish people around, I do apologise. Tell me what you call 
blooming dairy dairy and I will change my stance but at the minute I'm going to call it dairy because it's easier for me to say blooming dairy or dairy or whatever To talk about. I'm going to grab what I'm going to do is I'm going to in a minute I'm going to put the camera grab a load and I'm going to say nothing for a long time and I'm just going to drive okay that's all I want to do I want to drive I want to listen to some music I just want to chill out because for some reason this game chills me out when I can get on it <laughs> Saving up for my Fantech Club Sport Lite of CSL Elite base on the McLaren MP4 Dash Pro C GT3 To make him rotate to get him home so that this truck can get looked at. I can't remember if the guys want me to drop the trailer here or take it somewhere else to tell it to the guy. Alright, so I can sort that out as well. Guys, as you see in the top left and the top right, the numbers have changed. I am on the S2 version 1.34 and I am on the Pro version 2.33. 2.33 is just to make it compatible with the 134 update. Um, the full the full um, make bolted DLC patch, uh, make the bolted DLC version is still in beta. Ah, that's what I meant by that. Yeah, the the big pro mods update to make uh, DLC Baltic capable is still currently in beta. Um, so yeah, we just gotta wait, guys. It, it just takes its time. You know, pro mods like when it's ready, it's ready. Late, get stuff. How was I was late, but oh yeah, because I prepping with the time on. Did I like a dick? I missed the time on before <laughs> before I. Uh, I started the camera. I actually wanted to drive in some. Dark. Uh, three hundred and forty-three kilometers. Eight hours and forty-four minutes. Little asterisk thing. Late. 
Um, I'm going to blame somebody other than myself for that. <laughs> and it was... <laughs> young seedlings. And they were three tons. Alright guys, so for this part, it is over and done with. And I will see you again in a minute with hopefully another load. See you in a second. Yo, yo, yo guys, and welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the first bit. We are... Parts across the, well, actually, the other side of the fence from where we dropped off, I've just got loaded from there, needed to wait here for a moment whilst the paperwork was filled out. So I thought I'd come down this little cubby hole, but I've now got the paperwork, so we are going. And we are going straight for home, we're going to go to Helbron in Germany. So we've got 17 tons of chicken on board, and we are going to go to Helbron. It's a little drop off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this trailer and this truck to the Frankfurt yard and hopefully I can get the lease company to drop the Scania at the Frankfurt yard. If not, I'll just have to go on the, the Deutsche Bahn and head back up to Dortmund again from there. So yeah, we are going to go for home because this truck does have an electrical issue, it's going to be looked into. And whilst it's doing that, I'm going to have it all fully MO2, fully valid and uh, everything. So it's like, well it says 1000 there, but it's like 644 kilometres. And uh, I'm going to show the lights on, so I'm going to get some trouble. Nobody's coming, nobody's coming. So yeah, I have got the lease, the Scania, it's, it's been leased, well, the lease doesn't start till whenever I get back in uh, Germany. So I'll, do, I'll contact them on the way and see if they can drop it off at uh, Dortmund. If not, I'll go to uh, uh, Frankfurt. If not, I'll go to Dortmund and get it from there. So yeah, but this one is going to go. It's going to be away for about a month. Um, so that's probably what three VTDD episodes. Uh, if it all goes right, I should get it in today's episode. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm going to shut up and oh yeah, you need to listen to music. Why I listen to my music. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna go for a very big chilly section right about that guys. I'm not gonna lie, it's probably going to be about like half an hour. I'm on to listen to my music, chill out, and drive through England. And I'm sure you're all fed up with me. So yeah, it's a win win for everybody here. You're gonna keep going, aren't you? I think you would. It's bad enough you cut me off and didn't wait, and then just to break, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, so, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and just, uh, get yeah, my, my stuff is different. Connected. Yeah. connected, as you can guess, guys. So, enjoy the music, I'm going to go three songs forward, and hopefully, I will keep my mic on so you can hear me, so if I sing, it'll probably all be edited out and it'll be quiet. If it's quiet, it's because I'm singing. So, what we're listening to, we're not listening to that. Oh yeah, we are, because that's next. Oh yeah. Alright guys, I'll see you in for about half an hour. I'm not going to lie, I probably won't talk to you through the whole trip through. I'm not going to lie. Like, I might talk to you again in Cali or whatever, but that's the plan. So you're going to see the beautiful countryside in Ireland, you can see the British motorways and then we're going to be talking again from in France or Belgium or, or Hellbron, I don't know, this is going to go, it's not a little about BTV, you know, episodes the same. But one thing I can guarantee you is a wicked chilly session, thanks to the music from our friends over at No Copyright Sounds, let's go over there and give them some of Three songs forward guys, so count with me, one. Two, three, enjoy guys.
Oh. Sorry guys, I don't know what I'm going to do with Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how Eat my weight and glee I live 
inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. Some days I feel skinnier than all the other days. Sometimes I can't tell if my body belongs to me. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush.
Whoa!
Oh my god, I've still recorded. Shit. What's up, guys? Welcome back. We are in beautiful Wunders Republic of Deutschland. We are in Germany, guys. I took, I took two countries to chill <laughs> But yeah, sorry about the singing at the end. But, you know, one of the favourite videos you forget about, and it suddenly pops up the playlist, and you're like, oh my god, what a bang new tune! Yeah, that go on. Um, yeah, I like trance music, if, um, if you haven't guessed. So, well, I like all types of music, really. Um, I don't like that whole cool stuff, though. Or Gatling, which I Yes, when you, when you got a tune you love and it pops up, you're like, oh my god, I don't know where this off by art. Yeah, boom, that happened. <laughs> We've all had it happen, and if you if you say you have it, then you're a liar. Then you're a liar, honestly, because uh, you know, it's happened to everybody. What are we breaking for? Oh, I know one. No, but Dingle Dong, and you're not the problem waiting, so I'm going to die about now. Because if I did, no, but Dingle Dong. It's a typical Dingle Dong behaviour. But yeah, I've uh, really enjoyed this trip. Feeling so super chilled out, it's unbelievable. Been a lot better than I did that two hours ago. Actually, by fluke, in about um, two minutes time, I've been up for about an hour or I've been driving. Well, I just stopped going for a week. Uh, it's Calais. Oh, so. Sorry for the idea. Apart from that, it's been absolutely fun. I love driving through. I love driving through. I want to see it. It's the east of Bonn, are we? There's the uh, combine arm. Oh, there's a digger up there. There's no pickles up there. Oh. Yeah, sorry about the frame rate, guys. It's uh, got two or three miles. I've got two quite explained earlier. Yeah. yeah, so I'm uh, going to be getting the lease from the lease truck will be here in Frankfurt in about a day's time. So I'll be in the episode after this segment. When we deliver, that'll be it for the episode. And I'm going to drop this one in my yard so I can get the mechanics to look at it. Like I said earlier, I've got the ballet, I've got fully serviced, I've got to check the full shebang. And it's a good head parts and pays in it already. Uh, so if we've gone for roughly three episodes, I reckon. And that's how I'm going to be going around in our leashed truck. Um, Okay, getting a bit all worked out, I'm able to purchase that truck afterwards. Basically, I've got it on a loan to buy. Well, that's the bus of plan, isn't it? Okay. That's all the idea. Loan to buy. Yeah, that's actually a good way to turn it. But yeah, don't forget, guys, I have got a 4x2 Renault Range T with very shortest packs of house bar on it. Uh, ordered and possibly delivered in the next couple of weeks. I've got a 6x2 midlift DAF XF 106 Euro 6 with the Kelsa high bar and visor bar. And obviously, I've got this loan to buy truck as well as the three Ronnie's trucks I've got, which is this one and two others. But the two others are for special occasions, and this is a one for special occasion. When I mean special occasion, I mean aka truck show. So, yeah. That's, 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 that's what's happening with them before people ask. So, yeah. Yeah, we're driving a new route back to Frankfurt and um, it's given me the option of going past Frankfurt but I'm going to take the road and have a look at the newness of it. It's not so often you get to uh, drive on a new route in the uh, If you've got the availability too, with my honest opinion and advice, would be grab it when you can. Oh well that's my advice. 
advice I need. That's pretty much my advice for anything. You have the ability to try something new, then try it. But yeah, I did get really bad road rage there. I just thought about that. Yeah, it was really bad road rage for that. And it's like posh guy on the uh, sticks. I do get road rage. If you haven't guessed. <laughs> yeah, I get, I get really, 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 really bad road rage. It's actually a good job I can't actually draw on the map. Problem there, guys. It's saying I'm running out of fuel. If you look at the fuel gauge, it's absolutely full. So that's the electrical problem explained. Uh, so I'll be able to 
Yeah, guys, we're gonna have to live with this one. Whack camera off and cruise up to Frankfurt. Get the lease, uh, lease wagon, and then we'll be making our way around Europe in that for a couple of weeks whilst we get the electronic issue found, diagnosed, and sorted. That example of the electric Fuel, which means it's safe for mechanics to work. So, if you don't have to drink, but I feel tired.
gyorsan képzelő. Ah, cocktail right at the last minute then I. From Berry to hold on. One, eight, four, six. Killing us thirty one hours. There and there. Back into that again. Chicken. Thank you to everybody for watching today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all again next week in the Leech Talk. Take care, guys. See you next week.